Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the new up new heroes of the new update. And also, um, I will just cut in a sacred opening here because I did it on camera just like a day or so ago and I got very lucky, so here you go. Hello everyone, I'm just adding this to the video. Uh, we're going to open up a sacred shard and a void shard and I hope that we will get lucky. So without any further ado, let's just do that and hopefully we will get lucky. I don't know, Hope I hope for a legendary of course. Am I going to get a legendary? No, I'm going to get an epic. I'm going to get a steel skull, which is amazing. That is amazing, man. This guy for clan boss is insane. I got a steel skull. I don't think I've gotten him before. No, he's new in index. So that's amazing, man. Steel skull is like a god for for clan boss which is amazing i really needed that so let's also go for a void shard and see if i can get a legendary that would be cool but probably not happening okay so i got a blue i just got a marcus okay that's nothing much to talk about but uh, i got i got very lucky right there that's amazing i Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at all of the new heroes and we'll go in order. We'll start on common and we'll work our way up. And I'll see, okay, so that's, uh, okay, okay. I just had something on my monitor. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and do that. So the first hero is I took pictures, uh, images on my phone, photos, because uh, I don't wanna go back and forth just wasting everyone's time, including my own. Uh, Knights Revenant. Uh, let's go over to Knights Revenant. That sounds like an interesting faction. <laughs> and then also we have a new faction, Dwarves. And we have a new fusion, which seems kind of insane. Uh, I don't know if that hero is worth it or not. You guys can tell me. You ju And you can get some of these heroes from the current events. I'm not going to click on it in fear of crashing the blue sacks. But yeah, you should take a look at the rewards there. So we got Troll. Troll. We got our first common Knight Revenant guy. This is our first common. <laughs> What's his skill like? Attacks one enemy, has a 5% chance of placing an x right. He can to have a total of 15% uh, chance. Uh, so yeah, he sucks, obviously. Like, the one review. What does it say? Yeah, 5. I, I recommend it. I want to rate. I can only... Oh, shoot. I don't have him. I need to do green shards. Then we have someone from Barbarians called Sephir Sniper. So let's go over here to Barbarians and we'll head over to Sephir Sniper. Yeah, I've gotten all of the other ones. Sephir Sniper looks like a, just an ordinary Barbarian. And uh, also I forgot to say the Dwarves faction. I'm looking forward to it. I am. Attacks all enemies has a 15% chance of uh, increasing the skill on each target by one turn. That's not too bad. Uh, for a c uncommon hero, and then we have a continuous heal on all allies. Uh, that's <laughs> that's actually not horrible, especially early on. I, I that's not that's not horrible to be an uncommon hero. I kind of actually sadly kind of like that. Uh, then we have uh, well, sadly, um, orcs. We have a tracker. We have a tracker in orcs. And where are you at? We have. Here, we have a tracker. This is an, um, uh, a, an abyss. Uh, I like abyss. That seems like a very popular faction because most people's main hitters are typically blue. Also, what, uh, what an animation there. Uh, so <laughs> attacks one enemy two times. Each The second it has a 10% chance of placing uh, a poison. Then we have attacks one enemy has a 20% chance of placing... Okay, she's, she's fine for an uncommon hero. Um... Then we have the final uncommon hero, which is in Demon Spawn, which is, uh, let's go down here. Hopefully I'm recording. Yes, I am. Uh, it is called Pit Kerr. And this is the hero. It looks like a hellhound slash a fellhound, whatever you want to call it. What do you do? It attacks one enemy, has a 25% chance. Okay, that's a very low percent chance. That's not bad. Genuinely. I don't mind this. Oh, one on everything? Hey, man. Uh, that's actually not bad, to be honest. Provoke, 25% chance. You can have it up to a 35% chance to provoke everyone once he hits everyone. This is definitely the best new uncommon hero, in my opinion. He crushes the rest of the uncommons. Also, did I spit while speaking or something? Uh, then we have a sacred order, a rare, called Witness. Witness this hero, guys. 
the sacred uh the sacred order uh witness uh, is this witness no that's cardinal uh which hero don't i recognize is uh, missionary oh that's also on oh this is epic heroes we're going to co we're going to meet visionary soon uh witness i i was blind i was looking at the wrong heroes zero reviews yet witness what are you attacks one enemy has a chance of okay so that's basically what the common hero has play attacks one enemy increases uh defense on the ally with the lowest hp for three turns that's not horrible Places a block debuffs on all allies for one turn, places a shield buff equals the third percent of this um That's not too bad, genuinely. She's like a spirit toast, essentially. Uh except she doesn't increase so I'd, so I'd, I'd still choose the spirit toast, but she isn't bad. She isn't bad at all. And yeah, that's the buff debuff chance. She'll have a twenty five percent chance, which isn't too bad. It's not horrible. Uh just going to see here. Okay. The next one here is a tree feller. It's in orcs. And let's go over here. We have to look at the rares. A tree feller. I have like all of the freaking heroes. This is another void. This is an interesting. It's not an orc though. It's a human. An orc doesn't look like that. It's just a mask. It's this is not an orc. This is uh, this is a bad representation. This is a human. Uh, okay, bad representation, but okay. As a chance of decreasing accuracy, I don't necessarily care too much about that. Uh, attacks one enemy. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing a... Okay, that's not too bad. And uh, for two turns, each hit also has a 50% chance of doing a decreased speed. That skill isn't horrible to be a rare. Attacks two times at random. Each hit has a 70% chance of placing a bump. Uh, that Okay. That's not horrible. She's fair. She's what you'd expect from a rare. Uh, we have uh, someone from Dark Elves. A force, not a, yeah, force. What did I say? Abyss. I mean, I meant force. I'm talking idle heroes here. Uh, this is in Dark Elves. I love the Dark Elf faction. I think it may be my favorite, to be honest. Uh, we have Steel Bovier, uh, a rare hero. Uh, I guess this is the this is the one because I have everything else unlocked. I really like the animation of this one, and they don't just sexualize the the female characters. Uh, it's kind of cool that they're e equality or anything like that. It's it's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so it has a low ratings on on many things, which hasn't been voted for. But Magic Keep, she's got a good rating in Magic Keep. So what does it say? Uh, we have. I just like spinning spinning heroes around. Is this a, is this a bad addiction? I really just like spinning them around. <laughs> Attacks one enemy two times. Um, it was like a force thought. I just had to spin the hero around. Uh, has a chance of placing decreased accuracy. I don't necessarily care about that. Um, he's his champion by 50% of... Okay, that's not bad actually. If you make her a super strong hero, she can hit 70,000. She will heal 35,000. On that, and she can heal she can heal 75k if she crits both of them. Uh, so if you make her a heavy hitter as heck... I think that could be kind of cool, and uh, that's a four turn cooldown though. Attacks all enemies three times. Uh, damage increases according to enemy max HP. This is just this is also great to be honest. I like that. Uh, this could be a nice yeah. This is a big game. It could be used also four turn cooldown. I guess this could be used for like uh, clan bars or something. I don't I don't know. She she looks cool though. But the best looking hero so far. Uh, then we have. Uh, inter interceptor, which is in high elves as well. Uh, which oh, it's in it's not in dark elves. It's in high elves, and they're a void champion, which is here interceptor. Okay, so we have a new we have a new void champion. What does she do? Attacks one enemy as a twenty five. Okay, it's fair, but it's not too great in my opinion. Oh, such such a such a low likelihood. Attacks one enemy has a chance, has a pretty decent amount of chance. Uh, let's say fifty percent if the skill is maxed, leveled up. Has a essentially a fifty percent chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn. Places a fifteen percent weakened debuff for two turns if this skill does not place sleep uh, debuff. It's fair. It's fine. It's nothing insane, but it's okay. 
Uh, decrease turn meter of all enemies by 15%, so you can have that at a 5 turn cooldown. Ugh, she, it sucks, to be honest. I don't think she's worth having in your team purely for that. Unless she just deals a lot of damage. She's counted as a defensive hero, though. And yeah, her this is based on defense. Yeah, so her, her damage is based on defense as well, or defense. Uh, okay. Now we have Centurion, the final rare, which is a Knight's Revenant. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, this is a uh, Void Champion, Centurion. Uh, here, yeah, I have everyone else. <laughs> I've opened too many shards, man. Uh, this is a defense boyo, and this is based on uh, defense. Uh, defense, defense. Uh, attacks one enemy, heals of the damage inflicted. That kind of sucks, especially in PvP. Uh, heals the champion for 30% of the remarks HP, and places a increased defense on this champion for two turns. That's not too bad, and you can choose to have a 50% heal, and this is every three turns, essentially. And increased defense. This guy could be a nice def defensive hero. Defense, defense, what do you say? How do you say it? It changes remaining HP levels with a target enemy that equalizes the HP of all allies. Okay. I guess. It changes the remaining HP levels with a target enemy. Okay, so he can do against the enemy with the lowest health or some. If he has a low health, he can do with the enemy with the highest health and he would get the highest health and it would equalize the HP to this, to, to whatever he got, gets on all allies or something. It seems like an interesting, complicated skill, but it seems fair. It seems f cool. Then we are heading over to Barbarians. Uh, there is 14 new heroes in total, by the way. I should have said that, maybe. First epic. Uh, this is a force support Teshada. Uh, I don't have all the epics, so this will get more difficult. Uh, let's see here. Uh, attacks one enemy, places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns if it's critical. I don't like that. Uh, not too much. Uh, it's also based on defense and attack. Okay, both are. Uh, attacks three times at random, each it has a 50% chance of placing a uh, weaken. This could be useful for uh, clan boss. Uh, attacks one enemy, revives a random ally with 40% health if this attack kills the target only available when ally is dead. Uh, revives, okay. And this is... No cooldown. Except if, if allies are alive, but otherwise it's no cooldown. I think that may be a bug. They can't have that that zero cooldown because that's actually not too bad, to be honest. It's not bad if it's on no no cooldown. She could revive all the time. Yeah, okay, maybe they've forgotten to add stats. But if 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 it really is no cooldown, then great. She's not a she's not a bad hero overall. And just a side cut. I didn't realize. Okay, cool. Um, then we have missionary. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. It's it's a hero name, nothing else. <laughs> Sacred Order, uh, called, uh, yeah, it's called Missionary, uh, let's see here, now we have to actually, oh, Ayotar, Missionary, is, the, is this a mission, no, it's a, um, it's a force type hero, which means, the, the Sacred Order force type called Missionary, Okay, so it could be this guy. Oh yeah, it is this guy. I clicked on him. Why did I? Why did I mess up like that? Also, someone has already gotten him. What did I rate him? I <laughs> just won. <laughs> Don't trust people, man. Uh, attacks one enemy has a chance of placing stun. It can be up to a thirty-five percent chance of placing stun. That's not high, in my opinion. Attacks one enemy has a forty percent chance of placing a provoke debuff. It can be. It's oh, it's only forty percent. Has a 100% chance of placing a provoke debuff for one turn if this champion's HP is currently higher than the target. And okay, I like that twist. That's not too bad, to be honest. I didn't read the I okay, I don't think the rest had an aura, I would have realized. Attacks one enemy has a has a pretty good likelihood. Actually has a hundred percent chance of placing a heal reduction for two turns. Also essentially has a hundred percent chance of placing a decrease uh, speed debuff. This isn't bad. And you have it on a 3 turn cooldown. This guy isn't bad overall. He's he's not bad at all. Uh, that third skill redeems him fully. That third skill is actually very useful. It's especially, for example, against um, uh, like the green potion dungeon or something. Like this guy is not bad. 
Um, then we have Jareg, which is in Lizard Man, which I've heard a lot about. He is a um, magic hero, which means it's this guy. Okay, he looks like a typical Lizard Man per person. Attacks one enemy as a, has essentially 25 plus 35. Has essentially a 50% chance. I'm just counting with skills max, by the way. I'm looking at their max potential. He has a 50% chance of decreasing, of, of placing a 50% attack debuff for one for two turns on one enemy only, not everyone. Uh, I don't know. Is that is that fine or is, should, is it not OP enough or good enough rather? This is a uh, this is also per this is always which is cool. Then this is essentially on a four turn cooldown. Places a 50% ally protection and a 60% increase. Uh, Defense buff on all allies, all, all allies for two turns. You can have it on a four turn cooldown. This is good. This is fine. Uh, places a continuous. Uh, this is a passive. Places a continuous heal buff on an ally for one turn when an, uh, whenever an ally loses 20% of their max HP in one hit. This is also good. Increases ally HP in battles by 33%. This is definitely the best epic so far, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so. At least for the HP. I don't know. Like, missionary is also very good. Then we have, uh, that was the last epic by the way, now it's about to go, now we're going to legendaries. Avoid demon spawn called uh, Blood Twin, which is, uh, oh shoot, shit, <laughs> shoot, shit, chat. Uh, this is uh, Blood Twin. A Initve Blood Twin. This guy looks overpowered. Nobody has gotten him, then it would have shown. This guy looks overpowered. The question is, uh, what's his skills like? Okay, let's read here. Attacks one enemy. Decreases the target's max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted. Okay. Um, max HP by 30%. So if he deals 10,000, he will deal an initial, an initial 3,000. Right? Because it's based on the damage inflicted. Right? Is that how it works? Please let me know. Also, it increases the damage a lot. That's not bad. He, I'm sure he hits hard. <laughs> uh, also, it's just the damage, damage, damage increase. Attacks one enemy three times. Damage increase is equal to the percentage of HP the target has lost. Uh, okay, that's also insane. This guy is a one hit KO or screw Royal Huntsman, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kidding. Royal Huntsman is good. Ignores defense. Um, attacks well, okay, so this has basically a hundred percent chance. Attacks well, all enemies has a one hundred percent chance. I'm just reading the level skills. Has a hundred percent chance of placing a ten percent leech uh, debuff for two turns. I think that gives this guy health or something. I'm not sure how that fully works. I've not really seen it or worked with it. Then his passive skill is heals his champions by thirty percent of the max HP each time they kill an enemy, which is overpowered. Enemies killed by this champion cannot be revived. Boy, this is a good hero. This is a one-shot KO. Where increases all ally attack. Uh, increases ally attack in all battles by 33%. This guy is a good good hero. It's a very good hero. I'm afraid to face this guy. What's this icon like? I need to re I need to remember it. Then we have uh, Crew uh, Traxa, which is the author of Void Legendary, because I, I've, I hadn't seen her before. She looks weird, man. Some people have already got has already gotten her, giving her five on arena and campaign on fire knights. Um, if, is that correct, though? Some people have gotten this hero. Attacks one enemy four times. Ignores. This is great for giant slayer and clan boss. This is fantastic for clan boss. Attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of also is does it give any debuffs? No, it just ignores defense, which is essentially yeah, it's It's great. What can you complain? <laughs> ignores 50% uh, And I don't know it just increases the damage. It doesn't seem like it ignores more than more But 50% ignoring defense is, is fine. It's fine. Ignores defense is fine. Okay, so let's say uh, We just count the leveled uh, debuff buff chance buff debuff <laughs> I'm messing up, stumbling on my words. I should have wrote on the script, uh, written a script. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. Has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weaken debuff for two turns. Has a 50% chance of removing two random buffs from the target. It grants one extra turn. Okay. So this grants an extra turn regardless. 
because it doesn't say, oh, you have a 50% chance. It's just, it just simply says you have a chance of getting another turn. And this is uh, on a fourth turn cooldown. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Guaranteed a new turn for doing this one, which is great. This is actually a good hero. This is essentially five hits every time. A four hits, five hits. And this own, those are the only skills. Places a revive on death buff on this champion for two turns at the beginning of each round. Uh, places a revive on death buff on this champion for one turn when the champion kills an enemy. Does not occur with spiderlings. Okay, so this this hero right here, I like attacking all battles by 24%. This here is a great hero for clan boss, I'd say, especially if it's giant slayer. This could be a nice clan boss, uh, clan boss hero. Yeah, why 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 are you at uh, zero? You someone got to write it five. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, phone went in, in dark screen. Okay, uh, let's go over to the next one. Was that all of them? Yeah, that seems to have been all of the champions, man. Yeah, she's a great clan boss hero. Um, this isn't bad. We also have a few new ones which wasn't shown. Wait a minute. I I don't I don't think I'm done re quite yet. Because when we head, head over to news, we'll see here. Craig Stasa, yeah, Jareg, Missionary. But where is like, we have Dark Atoll. Why haven't, uh, why isn't she on this on this list? Why why is she not in this list? Multi battle chickens, Painkeeper game, experience enhancement, enhancements. Because um, for example, if we go over to daily login rewards, we have... Uh, for example, this hero right here, High Cartoon. Like, why isn't this hero shown on that list? Um, yeah, this is basically a, a, a downgraded version of... Um, I, I think Apothecary is better than this hero. Uh, that may just be me, though. But yeah, it's a three-turn cooldown. It fills the turn meter and places a 30% increased speed. I just think Apothecary is better. But you can... I, I, should, I should review her, though. Attacks one enemy has a chance of placing a decreased speed. That's fine. You can have up to a a forty percent chance, which isn't bad. And then increase speed, and then increase the turn meter. Attacks all enemies. That's not bad. She's not a bad hero, but I just prefer um, Apothecary. Then we have this guy Yaga the Insatiable, uh, which attacks one enemy has a forty percent chance of placing a poison, and that's basically a fifty percent chance. Which isn't bad, this could be useful for clan boss, but it's at just it attacks one enemy and one two times. That's a 50% chance of placing a poison. Then we have um, attacks one enemy uh, and the damage increases uh, with pair people under poison. And this one increases ally accuracy by 40. It's not too bad. And then we have the dark atoll, uh, which is insane. I think I may want to screenshot and and use and use her uh, in the thumbnail. I think that could be kind of cool. She's just moving around so much. Stand still, Lytle. Stand for your pose. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'll just don't mind me, uh, being a being a person who likes thumbnails, <laughs> who prepares them in the middle of the video. Uh, we'll just read that sentence because the rest is useless. Uh, or it's yeah. Attacks one enemy. Okay, let's also add the ten percent. Attacks one enemy two times has a fifty percent chance of placing a sixty percent debuff for two turns. It's just one enemy, which is unfortunate. And then attacks all enemies has uh, essentially a seventy five percent chance of placing a thirty percent decrease speed. That's great for arena, especially. Uh, that's not bad, and it's all based on attack, of course, the damage. Attacks all enemies, places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for 3 turns. Uh, if this attack kills 4 or more enemies, uh, or more enemies, heals the champion by 50% of their max HP. If this attack kills 6 or more enemies, grants an extra turn if this attack kills 10 or more enemies. How can you? Oh, I guess it's for the spider. That's not horrible. Chris is a light attack in all battles by 20%. It's fine. She's fine enough. She's 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 an she's an epic atoll, literally. She's she's okay. She she has the same skill, right? Attacks one enemy two times. Attacks all enemies. Ah, I don't even, I don't know if she's good in the. Also, we can we're getting epic things later and a legendary skill to. But yeah, I, I don't know how good she is. She she seems fine. She's she's fine. She's atoll. <laughs> I'm already used to her, man. I don't, I don't, I don't need to 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 do anything else. Also, I did want to do shard openings today in this video, but 
Well, that would have been a separate video, but it starts in 18 hours, so I'll not do it. Not yet. I'll do it tomorrow, then I will purchase with these gems some shards. And yeah, you can see the market is bugged. I advise not going into the market. You get your gems back, however, it's it's buggy as heck right now, and it's taking your gems. I wonder what happens if you if you don't have gems. Could you guys let me know that? Uh, but let's let's just take a quick look over the over all of the heroes. If I see someone I don't recognize, uh, sure. Uh, is there anyone I don't recognize in the legendary faction? I think there was a lizard man or something uh, that they added. Uh, I'd recognize everyone here. I recognize everyone there. Yeah, sure. Anyone here? The Sacred Order. I recognize everyone. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen everyone before. Have I seen Cardinal? Yeah, obviously Cardinal. I just want to see in case I miss a he in case that patch didn't like show everyone. I wanted to make sure. Uh, this is Teshada. We've already seen her. The rest is whatever I've seen them before. Orgrin tribes. Um, let's see here. I don't think I. Re I think yeah. I I don't have I don't have the best memory, so I may just miss straight up miss someone. So nothing too much in this third man. Skinwalkers. Uh, Yaga the Insatiate. Uh, yeah, that that guy. Yeah, we have seen him. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that I think so. What about orcs? Do we have any new orcs? Uh, we do not. We we have a seer. Here is Rask. I wish I had Rask. That would be awesome. Uh, I don't recognize anyone here. And then we have Demon Spawn, which is the new to Abyss Heroes, which is kind of cool. The rest I already have actually of the epics. Then we have Dark Atel, which I don't know why it weren't shown before. And then we have Hexia. Hexia is she new? No, I don't. Is Hexia new? I don't know if Hexia is new, if she is, uh, let me know. Then the rest seems okay. What about... Um, I guess I could actually figure, figure out really, really easily if, I, if I've seen her before. Okay, she has 95 reviews, which means she's probably not new. Uh, then we have Dark Elves, anyone new here? We have uh, Silar, uh, which I think is new, I don't know. Attacks all enemies, yeah. Attacks all enemies, she attacks all enemies all the time. I kind of like that. She just attacks all enemies. Maybe she can be used to like KO everyone. Uh, is she an, okay? She has a lot of reviews, so maybe she is not new. <laughs> and then we have right uh, Night Revenant, which doesn't really show much to be honest. Faceless. Is this guy a new guy? Uh, attacks all enemy. Yeah, there there's just many heroes I just genuinely haven't paid attention to or seen. So. Then we have dwarves, which is hidden. Anyway, I would like to thank everyone for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a nice one and bye-bye.